The erosion of the soil is the erosion of the soul. I must have been aware of how land changed, but the time I saw how that changed the people, to see that people were crying for what is gone, soil that cannot give anymore. If you want to defend life, the gender-based violence, for an example, bring people back to what they know better and bring back people to what they are. As a girl and as a woman, the main struggle has been always around water. On your way to fetch water, anything could happen. Harassment, rape, the force into relationships. They are rooted in that a girl cannot decide. When you are abducted for a marriage, you get taken to the house of the man and you get raped. If you are a fighting woman, the others hold you. If your virginity is taken, then your pride goes. My grandmother, when that happened to me, she had a final saying saying, I'm a Christian, we don't allow these kind of things. And it worked. I didn't get to be raped because she came just the following day. She broke all the rules, kicked the door, it flew open, and then she got into the house and then say, you're going out. I will be always grateful for that. I left and went to stay in Cape Town and hide there for some time. My grandmother, she wrote me such a beautiful letter while I was running away. And she said to me, I do not understand, but I fully support you. If this is going to make you to get education, then go for it. I said, Smongile, now you have uh, got yourself to being a leader. You're leading other girls. I needed to break the boundaries of my tradition. I chose to be a young woman of the community who can create her own identity. And I was scared and I knew it, it was not right, but I had to do it because I think something bigger now in me lived. I believe that people, once they are conscientized, people can make choices. It is at the level of awareness that makes me to take action, and not just an easy action, but even the very, very difficult ones, and own that as my identity. Women's Leadership and Training Program does that with girls, create that for others. What I would really like for the girls is to understand that when they're protecting the environment, it's not about something that is abstract and out there. It's about protecting themselves and their identity and who they are. They must understand the climate science, and then of course the traditional things are important as well, so marry those kinds of knowledge. We've seen a lot of changing in the weather behaviors, but for us, how we read it is the time to plant, the availability of water. It tells us that things are not the same and are not going according to what we know. The calling of birds, there's a cuckoo that calls us to plant. And now this cuckoo, it comes in October, and that's not usual for us. This area has been taken over by timber and we begin to wonder what would have life been if communities had all the grazing land. In the agroecology farming, the homestead can have life that promotes diversity. What we can do is to bring all the things that we need into our lives closer to home. 
The reason we created these, these gardens that have fruit trees and everything is not for us only, is to attract the biodiversity, the bees, the birds. When it comes to climate change, trees are carbon sinks. The girl cannot just plant because that says so much about ownership. But we've negotiated and navigate around those power issues. Working with girls for me is to build constituency of a younger voice that is different from mine. When I think of the future of the earth, it needs citizens like that. Citizens that are going to embrace life as a whole, as a gift to protect, to co-create something better. Although we are the group of women, I've seen some men coming and say, can we join the group? Now all the men are working in the field, no gender-based violence. No, I wouldn't say that. But when young men are conscientized, when you bring them into one space of working into a garden or testing the water, something changes in them in terms of relationship. For policies to be really meaningful, they must be solving what is a problem for a specific group or groups. For the girls here, they've never seen anyone testing water. Now they begin to say, but we are the ones who are affected. So it is very important for girls and women to be empowered, to be able to do that. Participation of girls and women is about telling your story, the way you experience it, not the way it's written. My name is Bongile Mdungwa. My hope is on equity. I hope for justice. I hope for a better environment and indigenous knowledge to live and spirituality is what runs in me.